I counted 70 lipsticks. That is what is left out of everything I decluttered. I don't even want to know how much I had before. Now I'm not counting lip gloss or liquid lipsticks. I don't have any more lipstick lip lipstick liquids liquid lipsticks the majority of these are lipsticks in the tube there's only a couple of crayons this is gonna be a long video i have a kit of the high pigment pencils from bite beauty i think bite beauty is not really a thing anymore um which is sad it had a nude then there was sort of a brownish rose color which i've been wearing lately and a red as well as a berry color. <sighs> My goodness, they are such high pigmentation. They're really nice. They still perform well. They smell a little bit crayony, so they might be on the fritz if you ask me. Next, we have the Rouge Coco Shine by Chanel in shade Esprit 88. Very pretty color. It's just an old lipstick, so I think it's gotta go. I think, um, I have a lot of things that can dupe this anyway. A couple of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is um, Nude Kate, I think. There's also Pink Penelope, which you'll see in the swatch swatches after. I think these two have really got to go because, as one of you commented in my other video, um, these nudes just don't look good and I don't feel like having a high maintenance lipstick that I need to pair with a lip liner and put lipstick on top or mix and match lip glosses with. It just doesn't make any sense. If you do have these sorts of lipsticks and you know you're not going to wear the shades anymore, just know that Charlotte Tilbury does sell refills so you can keep the tubes and purchase shades that you're actually going to wear. Also, is it just me or is Opium Noir a bit blotchy? I'm not sure how I feel about that. If you're enjoying this video, and because I haven't said it already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always notified of when I post new videos. I have the Clarins Jolie Rouge lipsticks and oh my goodness, these are so nice. They still smell so good. I am not fully convinced that warm tone reds look that great on me, but oh my god, these are so nice. I don't know what I'm going to do. They come in several textures. There's shine, there's a matte which is called velvet, and there's a sheer one. I think for now I'm going to put these aside and see if I can decide later because for some weird reason I do have a bit of an attachment to these. I think because of how comfortable they are. You can bet your bum that I'm gonna keep me the Rouge Dior Rose Harpers because mm, I love Dior. Spoiler, I, I don't know what it is about it. I just like their cosmetics. I like the makeup. Not Maybe not the foundation or the complexion products because I'm not as experienced with it, but the lip products, I really like them. So, love this color. Androgyny Dior Addict is one of my favorite lipsticks, and unfortunately it's discontinued, but anything Dior Addict is totally up my alley. I love this texture. It reminds me of the Revlon Lip Butters, but superior. Elizabeth Arden, sort of a throwback brand for me. I actually got to interview their global makeup artist when it was Rebecca Restrepo. I'm not sure if she's still the global makeup artist for them, but I just have such a close place in my heart for this brand. It's so underrated and it has such a rich history. I have the classic Dior Red Door. Love that color. Raspberry is absolutely beautiful. I will not declutter that. I'm telling you, it just wears so nicely. I feel like it's so flattering against my skin tone. Absolutely love it. You can tell I'm totally digging myself in the swatch, so it's staying. Wild Berry to me doesn't really look like a wild berry. It's a pretty neutral color. It smells fine. Anyway, I, yeah, I'm not convinced about this one, but the color is so pretty. Mulberry is not my jam at all. This is just not my color. I just feel like it doesn't suit me very well, so I'm gonna let this one go. And it's also a frost finish, so not really, no. The next brand is 
tried and true another brand that's close to my heart essence i love essence it's just such a stellar drugstore brand and they make fantastic lipsticks this one is sheer i love this what do you think about it i think it's so comfy and cool for summer that lipstick number five by essence it's it's nice i mean what can i say it smells good too again not my favorite kind of red but it's very similar to the claren so if you wanted to get a cheaper version I would go for the essence because it's so much more affordable and it smells delicious. I, I don't know what to say, but I feel like it's not my color. Matte number six is very similar, except for it's more of a toned down red that has a slight brick color to it. And I like bricky lipsticks, even though I'm not totally into warm tones. A muted mauve color. And it's actually quite flattering for a brown because it leans a bit cool so if you have a cooler skin tone you're definitely going to enjoy this so if you're a summer or a winter on the seasonal color analysis then it would suit you number eight is a brown I'm pretty sure I'm gonna declutter this I feel like a lot of matte brown lipsticks like this just go on blotchy and you absolutely need something as a base on your lips and I don't like that because it's so high maintenance and yeah I'm just not gonna wear that this is another that I'm going to cling on to it's called Ravid Powder oh my goodness this is the way I would pull off a red right it's subtle it's kind of raspberry-ish it's got a bit of a cool vibe to it really loving this color Next, I got Shameless Violet. This was definitely a PR. Uh, actually, all of these were PR, the Estee Lauder ones anyways. I'm not going to keep this just because I'm, I'm really not going to wear this. I know myself, um, but it's cute. Sly Ingenue is just an effortless nude for me. This color is staying. This is my favorite type of lipstick. I used to have one called Rebel Rose in the same formula that was less subdued than this one. So I could fast see this one becoming a favorite even because it's just so nice. This is Guernet, my first lipstick from the Petit Rub line, or I'm not really quite sure how that works. I am going to declutter this because A, it's got sparkles. That I'm not really a huge fan of and B I dropped this once and so now the lipstick tube likes to pop out which you can't tell in this clip but it's really annoying and I just I can't deal with broken lipstick packaging at this point this is Rouge Kiss from the Kiss Kiss line of Guerlain I love the packaging of this so much no this isn't my color i want to keep it this is so bad i do want to keep it fully because it was a huge deal for me when i received pr from guerlain and i went to a couple of their events i it felt so special and i'm already decluttering the other one so whatever i'm gonna let myself have this this is a sample of lancome's l'absolu nu 302 no idea what the shade name is but the color is phenomenal it still smells like it's brand spanking new this is another brand i'm gonna have trouble with i bought these at farmer pre with my mom and i remember these moments so tenderly these are just such cute shades very coral although it's not really my jam right now there was a time where coral lipstick had a hold on us the other brighter one is more flattering, but, you know, sorry, but I'm keeping them. 302 from the French Touch line is another gorgeous lipstick, beautiful packaging. These two lipsticks from Lise Watier are discontinued. One smells off. I don't even know what they're called. It's such a shame because they are such beautiful lipstick tubes, but I'm going to be decluttering both of them. This is MAC Enchanted one. This is the first time I ever bought a MAC lipstick and I went with my mom. I know this is from a very old collection. I'm just not ready to let this go because mom bought hers, I bought mine. I'm trying on hers as well, which was 
alluring aquatic unfortunately hers I she got a lot more use out of hers and it doesn't smell good so I'm just gonna let hers go this is another sentimental lipstick because it's MAC PR like that was such a big deal for me and it's such a fun color I'll keep it it doesn't take up too much space I like the color too it's really cute it's called invite intrigue full disclosure i am going to keep this this next one is a sample lipstick from mark jacobs kiss kiss bang bang le mark color 216 it's so cute and it's a really nice neutral whatever i'll just chuck it in my purse just like the long comb sample so there this from Makeup Forever is such a beautiful application. It's from the Rouge, actually it's the Artist Rouge Cream in C506. I'm on the fence about it though because it's just not the kind of shade that I very, very often wear. Uh, I might keep it. This NYX lipstick is definitely on the chopping block. It's out. It's Heather in 623 from their Lip Smacking fun colors. Wait, what? I have this from Pixie. I could not for the life of me find the name of what this was. I have no idea. It's got a sort of moisturizing product cylinder in the center. Does that make any sense? Keeping this, I don't care if they repackaged it. It's called Serenade Quo. Oh gosh, it's such a nice lipstick. It's got beautiful embroidery on it or embossing, not embroidery. What am I talking about? This is a freaking lipstick tube. I'm keeping this. I like it. Goodness. I found a Revlon lip butter tucked away. I'm trying it on for fun, but this is going to the trash and I am running to wipe my lips of this stuff because it's old, but these had such a chokehold on us. There is nothing inherently wrong with this lipstick from Revlon. It's the shade Wild Orchid, but it's a pearl. And I'm mostly not down for pearls, to be fair. I am absolutely keeping Revlon Love is On, super lustrous. I met Gwen Stefani in New York for a Revlon event back when I used to be a brand ambassador with them. And this just has such a, like, it has a significance for me, so I can't get rid of it. These super lustrous melting glass lipsticks, they are really nice. Like, the formula is nice. I, though, cannot stand the packaging of these, so uh, I'm a bit torn because they're very cute, but if I don't like the packaging, that really reduces the enjoyment I have wearing the product because, honestly, packaging really does make a difference. I think I'm at least going to declutter the red one in Love Is On because I just don't see myself reaching for this. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Glazed Mauve and Cherries in the Snow. What do you think of them? Should I get rid of them too? I've got Rimmel. Actually, I don't know. You know what? No, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need a nude like that. I'm never going to wear that. I also have the one in Glamorous Pink. This is so old. I used to collect these Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks in the old packaging. No, I'm gonna let it go too. It smells a bit off. This is a matte lipstick from Stila. It's called the Stay All Day Matte in the shade Bordeaux. I'm not keeping this. I'm never gonna wear this. I'm, n I'm over the brown lipsticks on me personally. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I only have two Tarte Lip Surgeons lip tints left. I have Alluring, I have Dreamy. They both still smell good. Rest in peace, the Estee Edit, the brand that thought it was going to just launch its entire existence and rest upon the fame of Kendall Jenner, whatever. Uh, this is the barest lip color in So Bare. It's out. It's too bad. It's a really nice tube, but I just don't like that color and it smells weird and it's old. See, I normally do not like pearl lipsticks, but Juicy was in my project pans for a while. It was something that I used on the regular and I really like this nude because it's a little bit of a something different and it's a nude that has a bit of reflection so it doesn't feel like concealer lips. I have Urban Decay Fuel. 
I don't like this. It's a cream, but this is just not my shade of nude. No, it's very unflattering. How does this look yellow? It's weird. Another metallicized lipstick, which to me is just a pearl finish. Devilish. This shade is actually very pretty. I don't know. You know what? Maybe pearls are not so terrible after all, but it just depends on the type. Cherry, on the other hand, is a no-go for me. I'm not digging this at all, for the same reasons that I'm not really into the other browns and really dark burgundies. I talked about how I felt about the YSLs, okay? Rouge Volupte, Sheer Candy, and Succulent Pomegranate. I still really like this, and I am keeping it, okay? I feel guilty about this, but... The Rouge Volupte lipstick and number one nude, nude beige. I've got to let this go. It doesn't look good on me at all. It really doesn't. I'm going to let myself keep Coral Incandescence because I do have a bit of an attachment to anything YSL because I just don't have anything else like this in my collection. Guys, this is what I'm decluttering. It's 28 lipsticks in total if I count this spontaneous Revlon Just Bitten lip stain that I found. And if you like makeup declutters, I will be continuing on my decluttering journey. Definitely subscribe and check out the video that's on screen right now. Ciao!